Hey, what is up heroes and welcome back to some more Tales of Asperia Definitive Edition. Last episode, we arrived at Nor Harbor. We got ambushed, but luckily we got saved by Flynn. And now uh, Flynn kind of attacked us, he's a bit angry at us. He's gone and taken, well, Estelle to the inn. To give a nice little chat, we're going to speak to them a little bit. We also had our first encounter with Paddy, the, uh, <laughs> the little pirate girl who is absolutely adorable. She's up to something. And she seems quite crafty as well. But let's go to the inn, go and uh, see what Flynn and Estelle have to say. Alright, so I think we just have to rest up. Or maybe go to a room, I'm not too sure. I tell you, this is one mean world. Huh? Gives us not much of a welcome. Anyway, want to stay? Yes, I do. It's 300 gold a night? Oh. Okay. So we don't have to stay, but we had to stay anyway because we had like 67 HP left from the last battle, so Flynn's got to be in one of these rooms. All finished? And are we done whispering secrets? I've heard your story up until this point, Yuri. And also the reason for the bounty on your head. First off, I owe you my thanks for protecting her. Oh, I've been meaning to express my gratitude as well, Yuri. It's nothing. I was already out searching for that Blastia thief. And that's where we have a problem. Hmm? Regardless of the circumstances, the Imperial law cannot allow the obstruction of officers, jailbreaking, and trespassing. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I told him everything. Don't be sorry. I mean, I did all that stuff. Then I assume you are prepared to receive the punishment your actions deserve. Flynn! Do whatever you like, but just listen a minute, will you? So you can tell me how it was all done in order to get back the lower quarters Blastia Corps? That's what you wanted to say, right? Sir Flynn, I have news! What is Rita doing here? I heard you refused an Imperial request for assistance. Do you think it's alright for a mage employed by the Empire to simply abandon her obligations? Who's that? Got me. Huh. Whatever. It's not like I care a whit about you, either. I'll make the introductions. This is my second-in-command, Sodia. This is Witcher, a mage who offered his assistance to us at the laboratory in Ospio. This is my... You! Sir, it's the criminal from the Wanted poster! At ease, Sodia. He is a friend of mine. What? But sir, he's a wanted man! I've just heard his story. While he is guilty of minor crimes, the warrant for his arrest contains false accusations. Later, I will return him to the capital and explain the situation. And he will receive his due punishment. My... my mistake, sir. Witcher, let's have your report. So we're done here, right? I believe the ongoing rain and wind are being caused by a Blastia. The weather in this season is unpredictable, but this does not explain why it worsens whenever boats leave port. We also have testimony that something like a Blastia was carried into Magistrate Rago's residence. I've never heard anything about a Blastia that controlled the weather. Nothing like that has ever been excavated. Wait. The Aqua Blastia, the ruins... It couldn't be. So his lordship, the Magistrate, is using a Blastia to control the weather. It appears that way, though we can't yet say for certain. The harbor has been closed due to weather. Any ship that leaves is fired on for disobeying the ordinance. So much for crossing over to Torum. Those aren't the only rumors surrounding the Magistrate. He's released a monster known as Ribgaro into the wild, and amuses himself by forcing those who can't pay their taxes to hunt it. He claims he'll pardon their taxes if they can manage to capture the beast. How cruel! That injured couple we met near the entrance must be two of his victims. And their child! What? What happened to their child? Forget about it. Well, it's been a hell of a day for us, and we're tired. Let's just stay at this inn for the night. Also, we can't forget about a certain missing person. Missing person? Ooh. 
where the missing person is. Anything in the other room? It's locked. Except, don't we have to stay at the inn now? I do have just wasted some money at the start, but it's fine. So what's the plan? I'm gonna go see Magistrate Rago. What? We'll get turned away at the gate if we try to go there. Even a noble woman like you would have no chance of getting in. Yeah, but with the harbor barricaded, we can't cross over to Torum Harbor. And that thief Tadeki, along with that one-eyed giant, are both on the other side of the water. Let's stop blabbing about it and just go, why don't we? If you won't listen to what we have to say, we can think of another plan. All right. Let's head to Rago's palace then. Hey, everyone's back on the team. Right, I need to go buy some equipment in a second. Now we've got everyone back. Let's listen to the skit first. I guess the Empire likes to throw its weight around no matter where you go. Before I left the capital, I didn't know or care about anything besides the lower quarter. It's not everywhere, but I feel like the Empire's influence is especially strong on Elikia. They can do whatever they want since there aren't any major guilds on Elikia. We can't just let it stay this way. Alright, so let's go and buy some new equipment. I haven't got much money left, but if we can get a few things here and there, that'd be good. Right. That'd be good for Carol, but I'm not using Carol at the moment. That has recover vitality. Let's get that for Estelle. Um, oh, and then we want to go, let's see. Equip that, need to get that. Oh, okay. I already bought one of them, I haven't equipped it yet, that's why. Um, get that for Estelle. That for you. And oh, 35, yes. But now we are pretty, uh, pretty weak. Pretty weak, sorry, pretty poor. Pretty poor. Right, let's go equip all this stuff real quick. And. I'm alright now, I want to give you. That to increase. Oh well, no. Okay, no, never mind. The uh, leather boots are better. I thought the defense five percent would be better, but I was wrong. Let's go see this dude. And I'm assuming very soon we're gonna get Patty on the team. I'm assuming her story is she wants to try and cross the harbor, but she can't because obviously the rain. So uh, looking forward to uh, trying to use her. I'm gonna put her on the team. I might replace Repeat, but I do love Repeat. I don't know yet. We'll see. be so kind. Yuri, these men are mercenaries. I wonder what guild they're from. I guess that explains the thuggish look. <laughs> Go home, Scram! The magistrate is a busy man. Surely not too busy to rough up the people in this town. Hey, you better watch your mouth, punk. See? I told you he wouldn't see us. Let's get out of here before things get sticky. I'd have to agree with Captain Carroll on this one. But there must be some other way. Forget it. Let's go. We'd best leave the frontal assault on the palace to the Imperial Knights. But isn't the fact that that's going so badly precisely what's got Flynn in such a bad mood? <laughs> Maybe he'd see us if we came bearing gifts, so to speak. A gift? What do you mean? The Rib Guru. It's worth a fair amount of money, right? Come to think of it, that official mentioned the Rib Grow. He said that someone with its horn would never have to worry about taxes again. If we brought something that valuable, the Magistrate would at least grant us an audience. You propose to catch the Rib Grow? This is our chance! It's raining, after all! What does rain have to do with it? The Rib Grow comes out of hiding when it's raining! Out of all the monsters I know, it's the only one that goes out in the rain. Capital observation, Captain Carroll. What else? What do you mean, what else? That's all there is to it. So where's the Rip Girl now? Uh, uh, just as I thought. Well then, let's go talk to the people in town and get their side of the story. Are you okay with this, Estelle? Yes, Yuri. If we're unlucky, this could put all of us on the wrong side of the law. 
The one who makes the laws in this town is his lordship, the Empire's magistrate. You be okay with defying him? I'm going with you. You're okay with it then? Yes. Rita, you don't have any problems with it? I have to say, I'm incredibly interested in a Blastia that can control the weather. Then it's decided. So then, let's seek out the Rip Garo first. No matter how you slice it, Flynn is Flynn. He's even more stubborn than before. <laughs> you think so too, Repeat? <laughs> well, at least he seemed to be doing all right. Whew. Yeah, so um, let's go and take this Rip Garo out. Uh, I don't believe it has a secret mission towards it, which is good. So I'm fairly certain the next secret mission is going to be on a boat. Not going to spoil who it's against, but... Uh, we can go and find out where this rib grow is. I assume we just talked to some people around here. Oh, you're in the uh, shop now, so you got to tell us. 100%. Oh, excuse me, young lady. Can you spare a minute or two? Yeah, you mean me? Yes, yes indeed. You think you might want to play a little stone stone taking game with me? Let me get interested. I'll give you a nice present if you can beat me. What do you say? Mm, well, why not? But are you sure? I'm pretty good at that kind of game. <laughs> oh, excellent. Been looking for an opponent to give me a challenge? They call me the master. I won't go down without a fight. Uh, do we really have time to be sitting and playing games? Uh, yeah, we do. Don't worry, I'll make short work of this geezer. Just wait and see. <laughs> oh, well then, shall we begin? Uh, set the game. Uh, let's go high or low. First battle. Let's go high. Right, so... Good job. Sweet. Hi again. Hello. <laughs> okay, frankly, after all that big talk, I was picking a more impressive showing. But no, no, you've got it all wrong. Just feeling a little under the weather is all. <laughs> oh, feel free to come back for a rematch when you're feeling better. Actually, you know what? I, I think I am. Right, start with high. So, 15. Let's go low. Cool. Uh, high. Nice. Hey, we win! Ooh, nice little gel set. Not bad at all. Too bad you didn't do that well the first time you tried. <laughs> Shut up, Yuri. <laughs> no, winning against me in two tries is still quite an impressive feat for a young girl. See? Now, for your prize, a delicious kiss from yours truly. Oh, no, mate. I <laughs> fooled you. No, I'm going to give you the title of a new master. Okay. As soon as my defeat travels and new challenges will appear, I hope it is still your glory. Stay strong and don't lose, Rita. That is, the new Stone Taken Master Reader. To be continued next time, and a new Assassin lurks. To be continued? That's not likely. <laughs> well, if you ever feel like it, you're welcome to join me in my hobbies. Sweet. Does I actually change an outfit for her? No. Right. Let's continue looking around. Maybe the um, the couple know where it is. That guy was going to run after it. And he was here. Oh, that's the inn. It's not here anymore. I think it's a bit further down then. Did not realize you have two doors. Oh, okay. They were in front of the inn. Fair enough. Uh, maybe we just go for it? You never could sit still, could you? Stop treating me like a little kid. Yuri, don't do anything reckless. I haven't done anything reckless since the day I was born. I'm just chasing after a Blastia thief. Yuri. You're the one who should ease up on trying to do the impossible, Flynn.
Witcher, go and see if we can get the right to search Blastia Laboratories. <sighs> I thought leaving the capital would have changed him a little, but it seems like he's even more reckless than before. Flynn? Yuri's so single-minded when it comes to protecting others. He's willing to sacrifice himself to do it. I envy him for that. But I also worry that he'll take it too far. Come on, Estelle. Let's go. Yuri's gonna leave us behind. Right. We should be going now. Oh, by the way, Lady Estelise. Yes? How... how is it, walking around outside, free? I can't say everything's been perfect, but I realize that there are things I must do. And that makes me happy. It's been wonderful. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Hey, Rita, what did Flynn mean about search and seizure rights to Blastia Laboratories? Oh, that. Basically, if you're on an official Imperial Blastia investigation, you can go anywhere you want. Are you serious? Why bust our butts when the Knights can do that? I don't think they can. There are plenty of exceptions that can block their authority. That sounds like what I've come to expect from the Empire. Hmm. <laughs> I'm assuming that's the thing up there. I'm gonna fight that bad boy. Kick his butt. Oh wow, that's a lot of them. Okay. Alright. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, come on dudes. Be nicer than that. Oh, he's got extended arms. <laughs> One thing I don't like about this game, just the one thing in battles, is that when I knock an enemy on the floor, and I go use a move that like hits the floor, it doesn't hit him. But when I get knocked on the floor, the enemy can still hit me <laughs> on the floor. It's like, oh, thanks, mate. Appreciate that. It's really, uh, really nice here. Yeah, I beat you in the next week. Not bad XP. How much XP do we need to grow a level now? Uh, Estelle's almost level 17, Yuri's pretty much almost 17, Rita's got a bit, and Repeat's got a way to go. Alright, not bad. Gonna have to do some grinding at some point. But I think I'll do some grinding for the next boss battle. Wanna make sure I'm probably like, at least level 19, 20. He is very adorable, though, to be fair. Ooh, actually should use the magic lens on him. Oh, pretty easy. 10,000 HP. Reader's attack can hit one on the floor, but my attack can't. Oh, so Super easy. Come on, let's take it back with us. It's covered in scars and bruises. I feel kind of sorry for it. I reckon it's been attacked by desperate townspeople quite a few times. It's not the people in town's fault. No, I understand. What's so valuable, right? This will be enough to satisfy that money grubbing magistrate. Wow, it's not like you to show pity to a monster. While you guys are busy talking, the monster's getting up. What? Why did it run away? Okay, it understood what we were thinking. The monster did? Seriously? Hey, we got the horn. Who cares either way? Oh, 
All right, so we've got the Golden Horn, let's head back. I'm gonna quickly cut to when we get back, so I wanna fight some enemies on the way and then rest in the inn. So I will uh, see you guys back in a sec. Wait, you can't go out again after that girl went through the trouble of healing your wounds. Where are you off to with that dangerous weapon? That's no business of yours. I can't have you sticking your nose into my affairs just because you're curious. This is... Sorry for stealing your thunder back at the end. Maybe this will make it up to you. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. You're just giving it to them? It's a small price to pay if it saves their child's life. You were planning on doing this from the beginning, weren't you? Nope, it just came to me. You do realize that you just gave away our gift for the Magistrate, right? Now what do we do? No worries, we'll just find some other way to get into the Magistrate's place. Shall we see how Flynn's doing then? Yeah, maybe he's even gotten into Rago's palace already and set things straight. Yeah, that sure would be nice. Let's go pay a visit to the inn. I was gonna head there anyway, cause I am super weak. <laughs> Need to save the game as well really badly. A nice little grinding session, got some monies, got some levels. We all good. Alright, now let's go see Flynn. You're looking chipper as always, Flynn. I've got a lot on my mind, Yuri. Not that you'd know what that's like. <laughs> Managed to go out and get your bounty raised even higher? I thought you went to the Magistrate's place. I went, along with a search warrant from the Blastia Research Lab. Ah, so you were able to go inside and look around. No, the Magistrate refused us entry. Why? He even tried to provoke us. If you really think I have Blastia, try to bust your way in, he said. He knows we don't have the jurisdiction to do that. He's just making a mockery of us. Well, isn't he right? What did you say? Yuri, whose side are you on? It's not a matter of whose side I'm on. If you think you're right, you should force your way inside. No, it's a trap. Rago wants the Imperial Guard to make a mistake so he can use it as an excuse to increase the authority of the Council. If we go in now, he'll hide the evidence and feign innocence. Is Magistrate Rago on the Council as well? Yes. The Imperial Knights and the Council are both essential organizations that support the Empire, but Rago seems to have forgotten this fact. So in short, we're not dealing with your everyday Magistrate here. Well, have you got a plan for what you're doing next? <sighs> What, you're out of ideas? If there were some sort of disturbance inside the palace, the Imperial Knights would be able to move in under the pretense of emergency prerogative. Ah, yes. The Imperial Knights may employ emergency prerogative to intervene in emergency situations, regardless of jurisdiction. Of course. So if a thief snuck in and caused a ruckus, that'd be enough? Yuri, I know you want to help, but... But I shouldn't do anything reckless, right? I've just received a tip that a fugitive with a warrant out for his arrest is trying to get into the Magistrate's palace. Oh. Town be super reckless. <laughs> That's me, Mr. Reckless, with a capital R. Alright, how are we getting in there? Boss away for the front door? I think that's probably the best way. Oh, there's no guards there. Oh wait, never mind. They are there. This place seems to get bigger every time I look at it. Are members of the council really that important? The council is a body of nobles which aids in the political administration of the empire. Which means they basically represent the empire's interests. Huh, you don't say. 
So what about getting inside? Shall we see if there's a back entrance? Tough luck. Place is surrounded by a wall, and there's no getting inside unless you can clear it. Huh? You won't last long if you go screaming in a spot like this, your ladyship. I'm sorry, but who are you? What do you mean? Me and the kid there are old friends, right, pal? What are you looking at? I barely know this guy. Now, now, don't be like that. What about the fun times we had in jail, Mr. Yuri Lowell? Huh? I don't remember telling you my name. See? You're a celebrity, Yuri. So what's your name, mister? Huh? Ah, right. I suppose Raven will do for now. For now, huh? Who the hell does this guy think he is? Well, Raven, it's been lovely seeing you again. Now buzz off. Ah, oh, come on. You're trying to get into the palace, right? You just leave it up to old Raven. Shouldn't we stop him? Actually, he pulled a trick like this that helped me get out of the castle. Really? Well, then maybe we can trust him. I'd like to hope so. Uh, they're coming over here. Get my hands on him! No one uses me as a diversion! There she goes again with the magic! Now what? Now we go inside, what else? We just got rid of the guards and all. Whoa, not the front door. Let's see if we can get in from the side. Man, I love Raven. <laughs> Ah, oh, can't we join the team? Hey, hey, so we meet again. Glad to see you're okay. Catch you later. Wait. Uh, it's going down? No, oh, I don't believe this. You can't control it from down here. Something smells rank. Blood, along with something else? It smells rotten. I wonder if he's into raising monsters, too. Could be. He had Ribgaro after all. Uh, uh, help me! Uh, what was that? What is this place? It sounds like someone's there. Let's go. Okay. Hey you! Bring that raven creep to me right now! Huh? Why do I have to do that? You're friends with him, right? I told you I hardly know the guy. Oh really? You met him in jail, right? That's pretty shady if you ask me. I can't really argue with that. I think he's kind of strange, but he didn't seem bad to me. I don't think he's all that good either. Right, let's uh, take these out just to... That close enough? No, it'll be two separate battles, okay. We're trying to encounter Link first. We'll see how tough these little doggies are. Oh, crushing eagle. That looks pretty awesome. And they are super weak. Got a life bottle out of that though, so that's not bad. We're gonna, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Worry about a thing. Hmm. See, so yeah, with Raven, he joined the team at some point. I just can't remember when. And Raven's a pretty cool character. Got a nice, uh, interesting backstory as well. Let me find out who he really is and stuff. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Nothing is cool anyway. Here. 
It said it was because Papa and Mama couldn't pay their taxes. Do you think that this is the kid from before? How horrible. All of these bones. Could the monsters have done this? Papa, Mama, I want to go home. It's okay. Everything's okay now. What's your name? Holly? Come on, Polly, be a big boy. No more crying. You'll see your mom and dad soon. Okay. Ooh, he's in this room with all these monsters. Damn. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to use Carol now. From behind? Oh, man. We can still overcome this. Ow. Uh, they're actually quite tough. I'm a magic lens them. Did not get off. Eh, oh well. Hey, repeat grow level, nice. Alright, so it looks like there's many different floors to go through. Many different doors. This is gonna be gonna be fun. Right, we find a nice room with lots of uh chests and looting. That'll be the dream. Oh it's a lot of enemies. I'm actually gonna just over limit now. Cause there is oh Azure Wolf Strike, nice. I want to quickly play around with Yuri's art after this battle just to try and get some better moves and combos ready. You want revenge? Got a small key, nice. Alright. Uh. Yeah, I think I'm fine with all this. Maybe... Yeah, that'll do. Oh, there's a chest. Let's get that bad boy, hopefully get like a new piece of equipment or weapon or something. That'll be nice. So good, love it. All right, so what we got here? We got oh, new weapon for repeat. Defense goes down by four, but attack goes up by eight. Very nice. Honestly, can't wait to get a new weapon for um, for Yuri. Not a big fan of the X. Oh, come on, man! Just let you over the door. Oh, you like? Sweet. I mean, look, don't use Carol too often, but it's always good to. Oh, I can get build my TP up. That's yeah, very low. It's always good to like have all your characters, you know, pretty strong just in case you get into, you know, a bad fight or two. All right, so we want to go back. This is a dead end. Got our key.
There wasn't a door to the left, was there? Oh, there was. Going for all oh, the chest as well. Come on, don't want to fight you, dude. And we have a save point. Well, well, what do we have here? More delicious snacks for my pet, it seems. So you're a go. You've got some pretty disgusting hobbies. Hobbies? Oh, you must mean my basement. Only someone with my refined sensibilities could understand the pleasure I derive from such things. You're just like those senile old fools on the council. They bored me to death and never let me enjoy myself. It's the privilege of my exalted station to dispel such boredom with the help of the common people. You can't mean that's your only reason to do those things. Well, I suppose I should go and fetch Ribgoro. So many new toys. He had to put on quite a show, though you may not live long enough to see it. There's no point in searching for Ribgoro. We've already taken care of him. What did you say? Are you deaf? I said we've already taken care of him. You... what have you done to my pet? If you had put a bell on it or something, maybe you wouldn't have lost track of it. Ah, well, with a bit more money, I'll soon be able to replace him. Rago, How can you say such things and still call yourself a servant of the Empire? What? You? But that's impossible! What do you intend to do? Someone! Arrest these intruders! We'll have enemies all over the place if we don't hurry up and finish what we came to do. Hold it! What? Don't we need to create an emergency for the Knights to respond to? It's still too soon. First, we need some evidence. We've got to find the Blastia that controls the weather. Alright, let's quickly save it while we're here. Where is this Blastia? And I wonder what Raven's up to. Alright, so probably have to fight these guys for a key. We've got both of them to a single fight, brilliant. There are so many. Wipe them out in one shot. Oh, there actually is a lot of them, wow. Okay, okay. Switch a little bit and he got so lucky his attack just like <laughs> spins around a little bit because I would have saved repeat a little bit sooner then. These guys, maybe getting both from Giver was not the greatest idea, but I like a challenge. Whew. I need 275 XP for that, are you serious? We'll get a lot more, but oh well. Right, that's locked. Gun this, we need to find a key. Oh, that just makes him angry. Ooh, new weapon, finally. Is that for us? Who's the weapon for? Oh, it's for Estelle? Uh, I still need to... The weapon we've got now, just... Learn Recover still? So wait a little bit. There you go, now he's confused. Kick his butt. Seems fair. 
hate when you go away from them just to get up, and it's just like... Uh, Rita's attacks, most of them just miss, because like, the fireball missed, the, the first splash missed, and the other one missed just because the dude was on the floor getting up. So annoying. Like, let me hit you when you're down. I played Dirty Man, and the computer plays Dirty Against Us. We get hit when we're down all the time. Sworn you've been captured. Um, I think she has been captured, actually. No, I haven't. Shiver me timbers. I know you. Um, your name was, uh, Jack. Who's that? I'm Yuri. What's your name? Patty. Patty, huh? We met in front of the mansion, didn't we? Oh, that's right. You couldn't forget the warmth of my hand and came a chasing after me. For treasure treasure in a place like this well i guess it wouldn't be odd for that black-hearted geezer to have filched some treasures so what do you do patty i'm an adventurer in any case it's dangerous for a little girl to wander around a place like this all by herself she's right why don't you come with us i still ain't found no treasure maybe it isn't my place to say this but you sound less like an adventurer and more like a thief an adventurer is one who always carries the spirit of curiosity and the desire to push into the unknown. So while I may look like a thief, I'm actually nothing of the sort. <laughs> it's not like I really care anyway. Well, if you're gonna keep hunting for treasure, I won't stop you. What are you gonna do? There probably ain't no treasure left in this mansion anyway. She's saying she'll come with us. Okay, then let's go. Oh, what? Is she not joining the team? I want to use Patty so bad and like see her costumes and stuff, see what she looks like. She's hilarious. Okay, okay. You guys need to just chill though with the, uh, the attacks. I need to restore my TP bad. Alright, and let's go up this way. So if any luck, after we finish this whole mansion part, Paddy will join the team. Alright, let's grab this. No. Oh. No, 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 no. Actually, how much XP do we need to grow a level? Uh, Stella and Yuri almost level 19. Awesome. The exact level I kind of want to be, at least minimum, for the next boss. So, oh, we'll go right into him. We've got the advantage at least. I'm going to have normal attacks, I'm going to save my TP. It's going to be really boring, but it's free hits. I got 35 back, looking good already. I right, got the small key and we got two chests, got a level whip. And Okay, let's uh, go to Rita. Level whip. Ooh, that is very good. And now we can go the other way. Sure. 
Surely got me near the end now. Oh. Didn't even give me a chance to like, you know, defend myself. Just come straight at me. I'll go for the limit. Blow you away, literally, and then. That's one down, good. Oh, he's not down? I thought he was. Oh, I missed him attacks. Come on, come on. They're all bunched together on trying to hit him. Ah, that's fine. And last, dude. Got gun after Rita, dude. You want revenge? Bring hey, it's still grow level. I'm surprised you managed to wander around a mansion crawling with such dangerous guys all on your own. The treasure be worth it, even if it means putting myself in great danger. What kind of treasure is it? It's the great treasure that was hidden by Eifried. Uh, Eifried? As in, the legendary pirate Eifried? So he's famous? You, you haven't heard of him? He's an unspeakable villain who ravaged the seas. Eifried, the boss of the pirate guild Siren's Fang. The Imperial Knights are after him for attacking an immigrant ship and slaughtering hundreds of civilians. None know his whereabouts, but many say he's already died. It's known as the Black Hope Massacre. I've heard that it was an utter nightmare. Well, that's what they say. Hmm? What's the matter? Nothing. What do you want all that treasure for, anyway? What do I want it for? Shouldn't that be obvious? I'm going to find that legendary treasure and become a famous adventurer. Even if it means putting yourself in great danger? That's the life of an adventurer. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of fun. Fun, eh? Then how about it, maybe? Want to join up with me? It sounds right up my alley, but I'll pass on that. I don't really have time to spare. You're a cold one, Yuri. Even colder than a shark skin. Uh, shark skin? But I like that about ye. Uh, you do? Wait, does that mean Patty and Yuri are... Aye, it's love at first sight. Um, yeah, I don't think that's such a good idea. Love at first sight. Ugh, whatever. Can we just hurry up and get out of here? <laughs> oh, she gets better and better, but Patty seems very young, Yuri. Just saying. I want to put that to rest right away. <laughs> oh, man. All right. All right. Last one. Oh, no. Yep. Okay. Sometimes you can't tell if the, uh, these big guys go down or not. Oh, we are so weak. Alright, I need to heal me up. Apple and gel. Can't do. An inner swing right now would be very nice. Surely gotta be close to the exit. Is this the Blastia we're looking for? Alright! I don't know what's going on, but I'm gonna help out too! 
<laughs> She's got a gun, man. No, you're gonna stay right here. Magistrate, I don't know what's happened here, but allow us to offer our assistance. Flynn! There, see? <laughs> He's certainly enthusiastic. Whoa! Is that the Dragon Rider? like that. That was the Dragon Rider. Dragon Rider? More like Dragon Freak. Hurting my Blastia like that. Dragon Freak? <sighs> you know, Rita, that Blastia wasn't even yours. Anyway, why do you think someone would go around destroying Blastia? That's a good question. I'd like to sit down and pick that Dragon Rider's brain sometime. As if you could have a normal conversation with someone like that. This is where we have to part ways. You're gonna go get that bad Rago person, aren't you? Yeah, we wanna hurry. It's okay. I can go home by myself. There's a good boy. You shouldn't go running into danger anymore either, okay? Got it. I don't think she actually got it. Estelle, what's the matter? I still can't believe the Magistrate could do such terrible things. Sadly, it's pretty common. Haven't you already seen what the Empire's capable of several times on this trip already? While you guys are having a nice little chat, Rago's escaping in his ship! I never thought we would meet the Dragon Rider in Rago's palace! That was a dragon? I'd never seen a monster like that before. Yes, it had a very different feeling to it than any monster I'd ever seen. I wonder where it flew away to after that. I'll bet it has a hideout somewhere, but we don't have enough information to find it. Enough! Enough with that dragon freak! Just thinking about that jerk makes me furious! <laughs> well, I think this is a great place to end this episode off. Next episode, we will chase after Ragu. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. See you next time. Peace.
Peace.